course by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we're gathering. And in doing so, may I acknowledge the more than 3,000 generations of Jagara people, Yagara people, who have maintained cultural practices on this country. And can I acknowledge all of our elders from wherever you come from, whatever your culture, those that are past and those still with us, guiding us into the future. Can I, of course, acknowledge my very good friend, uh, Duncan Pegg, uh, the member for Stretton, who is one of the reasons why I'm here tonight. So um, Duncan and I are neighbours um, in terms of our, uh, our electorates. And so he's, a, he's been a huge supporter of Caroline and um, he was one of the reasons why I'm here tonight. And of course, Caroline yourself. Um, can I also acknowledge Councillor Kim Marks, uh, the councillor for Runcorn, um, and absolutely, as always, just lovely to see you here supporting um, local talent and local vision. So thank you for that. Um, and of course, Lynn Sutherland, uh, who is the producer and filmmaker this evening, and Mr. Jackson, who is the chairman of St. George Committee and uh, again, another supporter of our community, Lewis Lee OAM. So I bring a particular perspective to the challenges of the portfolio that I, that I cover. And one of the things that um, strikes me every time I think about the Great Barrier Reef, and of course the story that you're telling tonight, is that scientists tell us uh, that the Great Barrier Reef is about 500,000 years old, that its current formation is between six and 8,000 years old. And of course First Nations people have been part of that story for more than 65,000 years. All of that reminds us that we are but a speck in time. We are but a speck in time. But we know that with climate change, we are seeing accelerated change. When you think the Great Barrier Reef, its current formation is six to 8,000 years old. Uh, with mass coral bleaching, with the changes we're seeing through climate change, um, we're seeing that formation change very rapidly, like we've never seen before which means that our speck in time is such an important point um, in our Earth's history. We have to use our speck of time um, in its full gamut. We have to do everything we can in our speck of time to ensure that thousands of generations ahead of us um, look back on us and see the work that we've done to correct the trajectory that we're seeing right now. now this is probably the best timing for the launch of this film. When you consider uh, the UN's report that was released just yesterday, when you see the federal government's quarterly report on emissions, for instance, that was released um, just over a week ago, um, it's telling us a story about what we should be doing with our speck in time. Uh, and tonight, this film gives us a chance to have a closer look at the story that is right now and the story that it can be into the future. And we all have a role to play in that. Um, the Queensland Government has been setting some very strong um, targets around ensuring that uh, we are meeting the challenge as quickly as we possibly can. So all of you know that this year we saw the Palaszczuk Government um, pass legislation around the vegetation management laws, for instance. We've seen 400,000 hectares of land cleared in one year in this state under some previous legislation. That's not sustainable. So congratulations, and it's my absolute privilege uh, to, I guess, officially launch uh, this worldwide premiere um, of this beautiful film tonight, so thank you.
done three TV series. So the, the TV series I've done, I've done ecotourism, I've done sustainable tourism, um, I've done marine adventure uh, series, and I've just finished a 16 part series called Endangered for Channel 9. Um, and I've done five documentaries, and then I've done a lot of other uh, bits and pieces in between that that aren't necessarily for TV or anything, but for tourism bodies and promotional bits and stuff like that. So 65, maybe 70 by now. So what drew you to, you know, being in a, you know, an environmentalist and, you know, how did this all begin for you? Um, I was born into it. Thank you, mummy. <laughs> my, my, my grandfather was the head of forestry for Australia, so he looked after forests, but he didn't up, look up just after forests in Australia, he looked after forests globally. And he actually created plantation timbers. But at the time he did it, which was quite some time ago, they didn't have clear felling. So he created it to take pressure off the old growth forests so they wouldn't log the old growth forests. But it all went pear-shaped when they said, well, that's a great technology. Let's put it in the middle of the most biodiverse ecosystem in the world. Let's take down the tallest trees in the world. Let's get rid of millions of animals. Let's not think about what we get rid of, but let's put in plantation timbers because they grow really, really quickly. I'm a businessman in Brisbane, and we've known each other for close to 10 years now. And um, he does an enormous amount of work, you know, with the Chinese community here. And he is the chairman of St. George um, Committee, which um, I'm involved in as well in the committee. And there's a few of our members here this evening, which is, you know, fantastic. Um, but we have um, um, got a, an announcement to say that um, we've got a new company that we're going to enact, which is Wish Media Group. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Wish Media Group um, seems to be trying to work with the Copro with, uh, with with China, particularly Shanghai Film at the moment. We are Shanghai Film Group. Uh, so Copro is something we have been planning in the past uh, 12, 18 months. So we're getting towards to you know finalizing few uh, projects. So hope we try to promote. Ideally, is uh, China the tourism is. Uh, the key fact that CoPro can bring, uh, you know, what we try to do doesn't matter. The script, I mean, story can be love story. Or, so we try to working out. We we'll see what, uh, uh, you know, we. I mean, we can show them about uh, how the beautiful. I mean, the country is. I mean, the, so ideally, a uh, story to meet uh, what they want the uh, the audience. Uh, but I think uh, there's. Uh, you know, can I talk about it? something? It's a story. It's like a love story or anything, traveling comedy love story. So that's drama. drama yeah, action. that's action. But I think the most important is uh, I think you know all parts of us trying to be going to be covered. So it'd be quite interesting. So we're uh, very excited about uh, the, this venture. So thank you, Caroline. No, thank you, thank you. And just recapping, yeah, we we're, we're going to be acting as. Um, uh, executive producers and distributors um, where we will be looking at um, you know different slates which are romance action and um, comedy particularly um, to you know present to the um, Chinese um, which is Shanghai Film Group who we've yeah. got um, great association with at the moment and we're opening up you know us into many other ones so yeah that this is a um, you know, a new venture together, and we're hoping that we can, yeah, get a lot of things really in good cooperation for, particularly here in Queensland, which, you know, is is starting. You know, well, not starting. It is. It is the film stage of Australia. I feel at the moment. You know, and our government's really um, igniting a lot of things here. We just had two more um, greenlit yesterday, and. Um, yeah, it's, it's exciting times and it, again, another timely time for, you know, our industry in, especially the film. So, does that? Yeah, it's covered everything. Yeah, Thank right. you. Yeah. <laughs> so what, what happened is, uh, based on, uh, it's last year, July, we had a trip to St. George, but uh, there's a story there, actually, back 1847. 
uh, was first Chinese arrived in Queensland, it was 1847. So as a, as a ancestry, as a Chinese, but I you know, came to Australia in 1990, you know, as a student came to Australia. So, so with a federal member, Grant Parrott, uh, which is a federal member for Morton, so he, we went to the trip, there's a four of us, so we went to uh, Louis Lee, we went there, and uh, there's another colleague, uh, uh, actually a gentleman from uh, Griffiths University on film. So interesting part, we look at it, there's, uh, the, the Chinese was arrived in 1847, but there's about 300 of them was being uh, actually under the British uh, labor law for five years. But uh, anyway, that time of history, uh, being told it was, uh, I mean, once they arrived, nobody cared about it. But anyway, there's 300 people went to St. George. So they've been sheep farming, about 450,000 sheep over there. But anyway, that's back uh, almost 170, 100 something years ago. So so anyway, eventually, ideally, the, but they never made a, uh, made a trip back to China at the time because they never made money. So obviously it died in there. So we found a, a 30 centimeters, 30 centimeter uh, stone mark, marks on, uh, on the St. George Cemetery. So that was the only thing remembered. But the history didn't recall a lot of names. I think the you know uh, St. George City Council, the council there. So had a, so we went to the two trips. So what we tried to so when we come back to Brisbane, so we think about maybe we can do something about it. It's a history, you know, the ancestry, Chinese ancestry, but that's a history, so what we try to raise the fund. So in the uh, last November, we did the first briefing night, so, and then June the 30th, so this year, just about three months ago. So we had a fundraising dinner, so we raised the money, you know, we're almost there, so about $60,000, so we actually been building the memorial. So it, uh, actually, uh, the headstone is going to be finished uh, about uh, probably tomorrow, next couple of days. But we're going to do a unveiling, looks like in February, because Christmas is coming. So in February about it. So, you know, I just want to make, based on touch on that story. So it's, so the only, the, the things we try to do is to remember the history. So basically, so, and then we get a local school involved. So the winner was the 11 years old students. Yeah. Daisy Brown, so so she's uh, I think it is part of our original yeah, history. So it was quite interesting, uh, and uh, that was uh, quite interesting, a uh, challenging project. But uh, we all enjoyed. It. There's uh, hundreds of people donated uh, involved. So it's uh, so overwhelmed. It is, well, as a president, I really appreciate uh, anyone who donated or supported this project. So anyway, thank you, thank you okay. for listening. Thank you. Thank you.